Hello everybody, it's me Heather and I have been wanting to do this video for the longest time. So I'm finally going to do a kitchen haul video for you guys. So for those of you who are new to my channel, I'm I guess yeah, I'm newly single. I was in a relationship for five years living with my then boyfriend and we broke up. Don't worry, we're still friends. Best friends, I know. Sounds cliche and ironic, but it's true. Um, but when I moved out, I didn't have any possessions simply because I'm a minimalist. I've always been very bare minimum possessions, which is ironic since I have a makeup channel and I have to constantly buy new makeup and accumulate makeup possessions. But other than that, I'm pretty bare bones, very minimalist in possessions. So I've had to haul a lot of stuff to furnish my studio apartment. So if you're curious about my studio apartment and a little bit more about me, I will leave a link to my studio apartment tour down below in the description box. I'll also leave a link to my bathroom haul video. So for those of you who like home decor and you want to just learn a little bit more about me, um, even my pets, my dog, and they make some guest appearances. So, all right, so whew, kitchen haul. Now, some of this stuff, I, you know, bought right when I moved in. So, you know, obviously there was some stuff I definitely, I just couldn't wait. A lot of the other stuff I put off for the longest time for a couple reasons. One, I hate to cook. I cook very, very little. I hate to cook. I've never liked cooking. I like to eat. I like to cook, or excuse me, I like to clean and I like to eat. I like to eat and I like to clean. I hate to cook. So I wasn't like hugely motivated to have a like fully stocked up kitchen. So there's definitely some stuff I've been wanting so that I have a nicely outfitted kitchen so in the off chance I want to cook or if I have a guest who wants to cook, that type of thing. So there's that. The other reason is I'm constantly spending way too much money on makeup so it's easier for me to spend $100 on makeup than it is for me to spend $100 on stuff that I should probably get for my kitchen. I'll be honest, you know. <laughs> But I finally have everything that I want for now. There's probably some things I could still add. I got almost every single thing, almost every single thing from Bath, excuse me, from Bed Bath & Beyond. I know I, I probably didn't save as much money as I could have, but it really also boiled down to I didn't just want to buy the cheapest things all the time. You know, I wanted to buy stuff that I wanted and that I liked and that appealed to me. So I know some of you are going to be like, oh, you should have bought this and that over here and there. I also wanted to be able to just order everything, I, and which is pretty much what I did. I ordered almost every single thing all at once. I finally took the plunge and like I had this humongous order that they actually had to send to me in four different boxes that arrived, I think, in like three days of each other. So I, or I think it was actually three or four days. So it was like one arrived on a Monday, the next box arrived on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, like... They couldn't just put it all in one box, but they did put a huge portion of it in a box. So some, so basically what I'm going to do is I did keep the boxes of everything that I have, but I still haven't unboxed the biggest part of the order. So some stuff I'm going to show you is stuff I've already had, and I just kept the boxes for when I finally do this haul. So sorry, I know that was a long intro. Let's get into it. So this is actually kind of funny. So of course I need silverware, you know, dinnerware. I don't think this is actually silver dinnerware. So, you know, just your typical, you know, you got your small spoon, big spoon, you got your uh, butter knife, you got your dinner fork, and even got the little salad fork there. So this was a 20-piece collection that I got a good price on. And I actually took all of the silverware out, but these that are on display, I have kept in here this entire time. I moved in here in February. I've kept these in here the entire time just so I could show them to you when I finally did this video. So after this video, I'm finally going to take them out and add them to the rest of my dinnerware. <laughs> all right, glasses. Whoops, glasses. I'm a minimalist. So I wanted to have just some nice rock glasses, as they call them. This is from just... Kind of like, I guess, I don't want to say the generic brand, but this is the brand that you see over at Bed Bath & Beyond for when you need like the bare minimum stuff. And I like that just really simple rock glass. So if I wanted to have the occasional drink or if I'm, you know, if I have to swallow any vitamins or pills, anything like that, just got the nice little um, 11 ounce, 325 milliliter glasses. So we got those. And then I drink a lot of water. So want to make sure I had some nice, 
what they call those cooler glasses, just the big, you know, nice, simple glasses. So a set of four. Oh, and in my apartment, my apartment's pretty much black, white, silver, and red. So here's some of the red to go with that. Here's my little stoneware dinner set. So you got, you know, your dinner plate, you got soup bowl, you got a salad plate, and you got your mugs. So actually I like those dinner plate, salad plate, bowls, and mugs. So very cool. So so these are some of the items I got like right when I moved in here. These are like, okay, I cannot do without these. This is another one that I actually got right when I moved in here just to have it, even though I don't really like to cook. And I don't know if I can get this in frame. <laughs> there we go. Uh, we got the um, stainless steel 10-piece cookware set. So, you know, just your pots and pans, your skillets, that kind of thing. And it was nice that this one actually came with quite a few bonuses, which I didn't realize because I ordered this online. I didn't realize it had bonuses in it, but those really came in handy for a bachelorette like me. So I actually got the um, nonstick, you know, bake pan, which was nice. So it's good to have. They sent me some little glass prep bowls, excuse me. And they sent me some nylon cooking utensils. So, you know, you got a spatula, a spoon, that kind of thing. So those have definitely come in handy. All right. So here's ugh, something that came in its own order. I wanted a pitcher, you know, for, you know, glass pitcher or like a ceramic picture or something like that for, you know, having like a big pick, pitcher of water in my fridge. And I wanted to throw some like lemons in there or some oranges or some apples that, you know, so have some flavored water every once in a while. This is what I get for not paying attention. This is one of the few things, as far as I know, I haven't seen everything yet, to be honest. <laughs> this is one of the things I ordered where I should have paid better attention to the description because that's kind of small. This pitcher is kind of small. It's only, um, what is that, one quart? <laughs> Yeah, a little smaller than I anticipated, but like the little lid there, that's cool, but yeah, meant to get a much bigger one, and that's what I get for not reading the description better. This is something that I wanted to make sure I definitely had in my kitchen for any pasta nights, a colander, you know, just a bowl with holes so we can really drain that pasta. Wanted to have some nice kitchen towels. I've been using a white kitchen towel that's all stained and gross, even though I wash it like every week. It's all stained and gross because it's white and it's a kitchen towel. So I got me some nice red kitchen towels that I'm happy to be adding to my kitchen. Oh, a trash can because, you know, we got to throw away trash, trash can. And you're like, what, Heather, you didn't have a trash can? No, I didn't have a trash can. It's not as gross as it sounds, I promise. I just, you know, been using bags without a, without a trash can and I throw out my trash too to three times a day to be honest because I feed my pets, my dog, the cat that I'm babysitting and they get canned food along with dry food but anyways and that canned food stinks to high heaven even when the can is empty and rinsed out so I empty my trash several times a day. Anyway, all right so now ugh, there's this humongous box I'm not even going to try to pick it up because I don't want to throw out my back <laughs> for the video. Ugh. And this, this has the bulk of everything that I ordered from Bed Bath & Beyond, so I'm really looking forward to going through this, and whew, here we go. Oh yes, this I've actually used and put back in here. <laughs> I need some nice knives for the kitchen. Three-piece knife set, you know. This one's great for, like, if I'm cooking myself a piece of steak, have a nice little steak knife. This one's good for cutting stuff up, chopping, you know. I don't really need to explain this to you, right? All right, what else we got? Oh, this one I'm so excited about. This I actually got 20% off on. I had a coupon. Simple Human. I would love to have a home of like nothing but Simple Human gadgets. Wouldn't that be the coolest? Would be super expensive. But I actually got 20% um, off on this. And this is actually the Compact Sensor Pump. It's for hand soap. And I actually wanted to have this for my kitchen because I wash my hands a lot in the kitchen and I thought it would be nice to have just something stainless steel and it's an automatic and I've heard mixed reviews on this. It's 50, 50. I've heard some people say it's great and it works wonderful. And I've heard some people say that it broke after a month. <laughs> so it has a two year warranty. So if it breaks down, I'll just get a new one, but looking forward to finally putting that to use. Oh, and I do something every week, a little bit about me. I do something every week that I call Champagne Thursday, 
and it's exactly what it implies. Every Thursday, I get myself a bottle of champagne. I usually have pizza with the champagne, and it's just Thursday's just kind of a day that I set aside to relax and have a drink. So I wanted to finally have some nice champagne flutes. Nothing too fancy. It's the Daily Wear brand again, which is basically the generic brand at Bed Bath and Beyond. So, but there's four of them. So I wanted to actually have some glass ones. I've been using like these cheapo acrylic <laughs> champagne flutes that I got from the grocery store. <laughs> So, oh goodness. All right. I'm just, it's, now it's kind of a grab bag. Oh, just some scissors for the kitchen. You know, it's nice to have a pair of scissors that are designated for the kitchen. You know, it's cul culinary scissors. So this could be for uh, cutting meat or just opening food packages and, you know, just that kind of thing. It's just nice to have some scissors that are designated for that purpose, you know. And let's see what we got here. Oh, salt and pepper shakers. I have salt and pepper in my kitchen, but I wanted to, you know, be able to get like the economy size salt and pepper and just fill up some nice dispensers. And this is totally my style, my minimalist style. I like solid colors. I like clean lines, open space. And I love, my favorite color is silver. I know some people say that's weird. Some people say silver is not a color. Okay, then I'll just say bright, shiny, light gray. How about that? So this totally fits in with my decor, I guess. So what's this oh cool <laughs> see i don't even remember what i ordered <laughs> i really made this humongous list of stuff that i should have in the kitchen you know i looked at like other lists for like moving in to places and stuff and they're like okay make sure you have this in your kitchen so this is how i made my list so some of the stuff i don't even remember what i ordered until i take a look at it so we got um i got a seven piece um steak knife set from a brand called gibson home but this is really nice. I like how it's in a actual wood display. I'm kind of debating, wondering where I'm going to actually put this in my kitchen now. It's kind of weird. But actually, it's a really nice little steak knife for steak dinners. Very nice. What have we got here? Oh, a cutting board. Those always come in handy. So this is just a... What kind of material is this? Um, but it's dishwasher safe. It's a cutting board. I like that this actually has a little bit of a indent to it. So if you're cutting something juicy, the juices will stay on there. It'll be easier to clean and keep your counter space clean. And you can also use it on the other side if you just need that super flat surface. That's actually really cool. Nice. Cutting board and serving board. Okay. Very nice. Cool. Glad I got that. Oh, here we go. Finally. I've been needing this forever. I finally got one of these so I can put all my dinnerware, my silverware, <laughs> so I can finally have those nicely separated in the drawers so they're not just all jumbled around, laying around, all disheveled. If I ever need to peel something, I went ahead and got myself a song, soft grip, non-slip, ergonomic handle, stainless steel blade, dishwasher safe peeler. <laughs> I hope this is fun for you guys. I think it's kind of weird that but a lot of you told me you're actually into home decor and you want to see me do my kitchen haul. So I'm flattered that you guys are even interested because I never watch these kind of videos. So I'm glad you're watching mine, I hope. Yeah, I still get comments on my like apartment tour video, my um, bathroom haul video. People still actually watch that and still leave comments. And I'm always like, whenever I get a comment on that video, I'm like, oh, cool. Somebody actually still watch that? Okay, cool. So um, these are always handy. Just some um, cookie pans, nonstick, you know, use them for baking some cookies or for pizza. <laughs> and we're coming into the home stretch. There's still quite a few things in here. And it's always good to have a whisk. It's always good to have a whisk. And I just need somebody to come over and make me some pancakes. That'd be pretty cool. And I have no idea what this is. I'm going to come back to that one. It's wrapped up. Oh, there's... um. Um, a grate, a grater, a grater. Sorry, it's got, actually got some uh, plastic on. I'm glad they actually did that so it wouldn't tear up other stuff in the box. There we go. They put some paper on there. Very cool. So we got a cheese grater because why not? Every kitchen should have one, right? Just like you need a colander and a whisk, you should have a cheese grater. And, oh, here we go. An expansion of my utensils for the kitchen. Some more spatulas and spoons and ladles and stuff like that seven piece nylon utensil set so yeah 
happy to be adding that to my kitchen. Very nice. And oh, there we go. Dishcloths in red. So dishcloth. And oh, here we go. I definitely need those. Oh, this is, these are nice, actually. I'm happy. So we got the Kitchen Smart with Neoprene Pocket Pot Holder. So Pocket Pot Holder. And it's got these little grooves in there so you can pick stuff up without burning the shit out of yourself. That's always nice. So happy to have those in red. Neoprene on this side. I like that. Ugh, what's this? Oh, a winged corkscrew. So now when I do my Champagne Thursday, I actually have a nice bottle opener. I've been using one of those cheapy elbow grease <laughs> ones, so I'm happy to have one of these. That takes a little bit of work out of it. Makes it easier to open the bottles. And what else? All right, we got, um, these are actually, actually I thought this would be good to have. Um, this is, as seen on TV, these are the Debbie Meyer Green Boxes, Fruits, Vegetables, and Baked Goods Stay Fresh Longer. It's a 32-piece set. I thought it would be good just to have basically some Tupperware, and I saw these, and they were they were a good price. And they claim that if you're putting like food, obviously you're going to put food in there, but you know if you're putting kind of like fruits and vegetables or anything in there, that's going to they're going to stay fresher longer. And I was like, okay, why not? So if you get some Tupperware, might as well be some Tupperware type stuff that keeps your food fresh, right? So let me know if any of you guys have tried these out if they worked out for you, how how you like them. Okay, let's see what's this. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Got to have these in the kitchen. These are from Betty Crocker, and they're just some measuring spoons, a six-piece measuring spoon set. So, you know, whenever I need a fourth teaspoon of something, now I can have an accurate measurement. So, definitely happy to have that. And I have no idea what this is. It's wrapped up. Ugh, it's kind of heavy. Let's see what this is. Let's uh, rip this open, if we can. appreciate that uh, Bed Bath & Beyond did such a good job of packaging stuff. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's a Pyrex Smart Essentials Value Plus Pack. This is um, glass mixing bowls. So, yeah, in different sizes. So there's three of them. Yeah, there's three of them. So that's cool. Those always come in handy. So if I'm ever baking a cake or mixing up something, got some mixing bowls. That's nice. And it looks like this is the last item. Oh. I also got 20% off on this one. So, yeah, I got a toaster. <laughs> I got a toaster. I guess I'll start eating toast now. Four compact, four slice toaster, dual control panels, blue LED indicators, stainless steel accents. So, yeah, um, from Cuisine Art. So, yeah, that is it. Finally, whew, got this kitchen haul done. Now I can actually unpack this stuff and stock up my kitchen. So I'm not going to show you guys what my kitchen looks like after I put all my stuff in. That's just really not necessary, right? So, because I'm not doing any kind of special decorating or decor or anything like that. But, um, yeah, that's it. Like I said, um, if you're curious to see what the rest of my apartment looks like, I will go ahead and leave a link to my apartment tour video down below. Also, the bathroom tour video, which is kind of fun. And that's it. So, okay. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. This is not usually the type of video I do. I usually do makeup reviews, tutorials, hauls, first impressions, unboxings, everything basically beauty and makeup related. I, that's usually what goes on on this channel usually. Um, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below and I'll definitely get back to you guys. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. Especially follow me on Instagram. I'm really active on there. And that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.